Hey YouTube, this is Richard with Through the Hay Survival. I'm filming in my shed today because it's way too noisy with the wind outside. So, uh, a few zip ties and some tacks and I've made it look somewhat presentable. Uh, but today I'm going to be reviewing the U.S. Air Force Survival Modules. Now these pouches would go inside of their vest while they're in flight. Uh, it has several useful things. It comes in two modules. This one I did open today. Uh, when I was trying to make the video earlier, but we had some technical difficulties, so we'll start again. But this was open today. Um, there's a medical module, and then there's a, the survival module. Uh, let me zoom in on these, and you'll be able to see what the NSN numbers are. So the NSN is going to be the NATO serial number. It's this number right here at the top. So if you want to look it up on eBay, that's the number that you're going to look for. This is the medical module. And this will be the survival module. You can see dangerous goods, life saving appliances, not self inflating. And again, that's the NSN. Like I said, you can find these on eBay. Uh, I got these from my good friend Nathan Machine at Triad Survival. Um, he just had a line on them and he, he was able to give me some. I'm going to start with the medical module. Like I said, I just opened this not even 20 30 minutes ago. So it has a, a pull open tab, a rip open tab, and it's like a mylar bag, kind of smells like uh, an MRE heater if you know what that smells like. And then inside is another bag that is zip locked, but it's not airtight, it's got uh, holes punched in it. Now these do have an expiration date, so that's something to keep in mind when you buy them. Again this is a zip locked bag to store all this stuff in so I would avoid tearing it open. So right off the bat we've got this Ceralite 70 rice based oral electrolyte, a drink mix. Uh, I guess it's like a lemon Gatorade. Again this was this expired in April of 2017 so it should be okay but we won't try it out right now. Next you have Bug 30, Bug X30, insect repellent towelette. It is 30% deep uh, and it provides 7 hours of maximum effective protection. Uh, let's see, a H&H &H compressed gauze sterile crinkle cotton fluff bandage rolls. You can see this is just, I mean it's compressed down really well. Move this out of the way. Some bacitracin. There's looks like two of those. That's always good. You can also use bacitracin as a fire starter because uh, it's got petroleum jelly in it. So that's something to keep in mind. A couple of bacitracin. Sun X Utility Towelette, dry and super absorbent. Dry towelette, single dose foil pack, gentle on the skin. It's intended to absorb sweat, dirt, sunscreen, and other substances. Okay, so this is the lotion, the sub sunscreen lotion, right here. Same brand, Sun Sun X 30 plus. UVA, UVB contains aloe vera, vitamin E, and then this is a towel. So if you get greasy or whatever, you can wipe it off. It's a dry towel. Let's see, we've got some moist towelettes. Latex-free, I believe these are alcohol. Yep, water and alcohol. So just like you'd get at the, the hospital or something like that. Four of those. We've got four safety pins, which are always useful. You can use them as fishing hooks or... Uh, hold your clothes together if they start to fall apart. Uh, a couple of regular size bandages. There's four of these. Uh, let's see, this is like a, a Curlex material. Uh, basically you can pull it tight and it's like a, it'll hold a bandage in place. 
um, and it basically it bites in on itself. Some larger bandages. There's four of these. Latex free. So four of the large bandages. A Calium waterproof non-toxic light stick. We'll open that all the way in a minute. And then combat gauze. Vacuum packed, Z folded for temporary use to control traumatic bleeding. So this has it's got quick clot on it. So it's a it's a chemical or a material that basically helps your blood to start clotting quicker. And it's impregnated in the bandage. So uh, it's pretty useful. Pretty good thing to have, especially if you get a severe cut or laceration. So let's open this up and see what we have. So it's got some cordage on here, which that's one of your five C's. Uh, not very much. Maybe three or four feet. Uh, pop off the end. And there's the light stick right there. Uh, it'd be pretty useless to, to light it up right now, but uh, it's here. It probably won't even work because it says expires 7-17, so J July of 2017. But it does come with it. If you get one that's newer, I'm sure it'll work. But it's important to keep in mind, if you do buy one of these basically to help build your kit or supplement your kit, you need to keep in mind the expiration date. Uh, I'd say either open it up and replace the things that need to be replaced or carry the things that need to be replaced separate in, in your pack. Um, opening it up really is not going to harm it but it does take away the waterproofing because this was completely airtight sealed when I opened it up. It's pretty small too. All of it fits down in this one bag. So, you know, keep in mind too for building your own kit these are things that you can find, buy separately and put in your kit. I mean you can go down to your any local store and buy a bunch of bandages and some bacitracin to put in there. Stuff like the quick clot you might have to look on Amazon or something like that for. Same with the curl X or the compressed bandage. Um, bug repellent that's always a good thing. There's also certain oils that you can get like citronella oil or something that can be used as uh, a bug repellent that works too. And then uh, there's different companies that make electrolyte mixes. Some of them are liquid. You just pour it in, pour your water in the pouch and drink straight from the pouch. Uh, and then some of them are dry like this. So, just some, like I said, something to keep in mind when you're building your kit. Uh, if you want to buy this as a supplement, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, this is pretty simple. So if you want to put these things in your kit, then, I mean, here it is. It's laid out for you. Here is a close-up of the medical module and all of the stuff that's included in it. There's a calcium light stick. Again, that's probably infrared as well. Four regular bandages. Four large bandages. There's the bug X. Bass tracing. Compressed gauze. On the screen. The electrolytes. And that quick clot. So let's move on to the survival module. I'm going to move all, put all this stuff away, and then we'll get to that. So now we can move on to this survival module. Uh, again, you don't need a knife to open it. It has open here. And again, it's a bag inside of a bag. Survival module, dangerous goods, life-saving appliances, not self-inflating. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, 
So a match case uh, with a ferro rod in the base. I just got a compass, a little button compass. And some of those Yuko Storm matches in there, which is pretty cool. And this, well, it's a flint striker, so it's the lighter without the juice, basically. It throws off some pretty good sparks. But you've got, uh, let's see, about 10 of those Yuko matches, and then the striker inside. And then, like I said, it looks like there's a, a ferro rod right here in the base. I don't know if you can see that or not. And see. some wet fire fire starting tinder. Scrape tinder shavings into a pile on light. So it's uh, this will basically start even when it's wet. Uh, it's available pretty much anywhere. Um, you can buy it in bulk on Amazon. Some Velcro, I believe these are uh, IR reflectors. They show up really brilliant, brilliantly under night vision. Um, in the military we had them on, at least on, our, on the ACUs, they were underneath the Velcro and they had them on the helmet and stuff too. Uh, survival whistle, again with some cordage, but it doesn't look like high quality cordage. So untie it. Yeah, it's not very much cordage, but whistle by Acme. Watch out for the Roadrunner and Coyote. Uh, just a survival whistle. Camel vet cravat. So this is a triangle triangular bandage. Um, you can use it to cover your head, um, kind of like a makeshift shemog or um, cover your face to keep your face free from the dust. Uh, it is triangular, so you can use it as a sling or whatever the case may be, but it's multiple uses. It says on the back, hundreds of uses. So, uh, light, red light. It's pretty neat. Well, I twisted it on, I how I twist it off. There we go. And it's got some Velcro on here. So I guess you can attach it to yourself or uh, your gear or something. This would be good, like a, a zip pull, little, little light to put on the pull zips of your gear. So there's a red light. Here's another light. And this one is dead, apparently. Unless it's infrared. I don't know, I might have to try it out. I get the night vision out and see. But it doesn't... No light shown on that one. Again, it expired in 2017, so... Little handcuff key. Uh, be mindful of your local city and local laws, federal laws, whatever, because not everyone lets you carry a handcuff key. The water purification tablets. There is 10 of these, um, resealable storage pouch, well it didn't come in a storage pouch. Uh, it gets rid of E. coli and protozoic giardia. Uh, remove one tablet and quickly insert it into one liter of water, so a canteen. And allow it to react for four hours, so it takes four hours for this stuff to kick in, which is... I mean, if I'm thirsty, then I'm going to want it right now. But that's something to keep in mind. Let's see a little signal mirror. I apologize for the light. It's kind of chilly out here. Regular signal mirror. Many of us have seen them. It's a good thing to have in your kit, especially ones that are made of glass. The ones that are made of metal don't reflect as well as the ones that are made of glass. Um, but I'm guessing this is a, a glass when it feels like it. And then we have Leatherman Squirt, a little Leatherman tool. 
It's got the pliers with spring-loaded pliers. Uh, nothing on the inside. All the tools are on the outside. When you close it up, it, the spring cl closes, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, a little knife blade. A file. Some scissors. A flathead screwdriver with a bottle opener. And looks like a smaller flathead screwdriver. You can use it as an awl. So here's a close-up of all the stuff that's in the survival module. Again, here is the little ferro rod on the bottom. And it is it does have an o-ring on it, so it's waterproof for your matches. Here's those tablets. Aquamira. There's the information sheet, it's a bit easier to see. Aquamira water purification tablets. Lightweight, easy to use. One tablet treats one liter of water. Here's some information on the back. It's a little bent up, so. But this is all the stuff that's in the survival module. Pretty small. Here's the Leatherman squirt. And I'll pack all this up and show you how big it is once I get it packed back up. So I didn't notice it, but you probably saw it on camera. Here's the red light, of course. You can see it works. And this light you can kind of see it on camera a little bit, but it's an infrared light. That's the only way you can really see it. It's not a not a bright white light. So, it does work. So everything does pack down into those two Ziploc bags. Uh, I know usually when you buy something that's packed up a certain way, it's hard to get it packed into the original container. But that's not the case with these. These will both fit in a cargo pocket or something like that. And everything went back in, no problem, with extra space, actually. So again, this is what the uh, Air Force, the U.S. Air Force, carries in there as their survival kits. Um, they uh, cover a lot of stuff. You've got your combustion, there's a little bit of cordage, but there's no cover, um, there's really no container. This one, it looks like this one might hold water. Uh, nope, it's got holes in the bottom too, so no container, uh, no cover, but you got combustion covered, and a, uh, a cutting tool as well. So, but... Most military members carry a canteen, something like this. Um, so you already have your container on you. Uh, and if you have to eject out of a military vehicle, uh, be it an airplane or something like that, you'll have a parachute, and the parachute is a cover, uh, and you can make cordage. But all around, it's a neat little kit, something to keep in mind when you're building your kit, maybe give you some ideas of things to add. Uh, there are five more C's to survival to make it ten C's to make things more comfortable. We'll go over that at a later time. But one of them is a candling device, something like this light. Uh, but again, you have to keep battery life in, in mind. Um, just something you might want to look in, into, look at picking up. Uh, I'll put the NSN number in the description below, so that way you can try to find it on eBay. Uh, again, most of them will probably be expired. So when you're building your kit, if you're using these, keep that in mind and, and replenish the things that, that expire. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Hopefully this gives you some more ideas for your own kit 
and uh, maybe it'll get some people to go out there and pick some of these up. But uh, again, thank you for joining me, and let's go enjoy the outdoors together.